Mariso residents are teaming up to clean and fix up an abandoned softball field in the village. PNC's Rizal Ramones has a story. A longtime Maritza resident Dave Skies had a vision of bringing the old softball field back to life after he saw kids waiting around and taking turns using the only basketball court in the village. And I saw maybe 50 kids down there. <laughs> they had uh, half of the basketball court, they were playing basketball, and the other half, they were practicing soccer. And there was about 30 kids on the bleachers waiting for their turn. And so, you know, I, I said, you know, <laughs> there's got to be a better solution to this. With the help of the Maritza Mayor's Office, the U.S. Navy Seabees, Senator Jim S. Baldon, and community partners, they're on their way to making the huge softball field next to the Maritza Elementary School safe to play in again. I talked to uh, some friends of mine in one of the... Um, community service organizations, and we started raising money. When Dave Sykes and the mayor had asked me if I could help with this project, it just happened to be right after, uh, right before a conversation that I was going to have with Captain uh, Andy Anderson down at the Navy, mm -hmm. and it was a, at a lunch hosted by the Admiral, and they were trying to figure out how can relationships improve between uh, the military and the civilian community and I said hey you know there's a project down in Reed so I'd love to to see if you can help and as far as the CBs goes uh, we try to focus more towards the construction aspect so once we found out that the softball field needed some repairs we came out here checked it out and it was something that was in our scope of work that we could do so we thought hey we come out here and support the community and give back um, for their gracious support of having us out here. Working hand in hand over the past couple of months, the grass in and around the field has been cut and a new fence is almost up. The only item left missing to complete the baseball field are the lights. Between Umatic and Mariso and Inaran, there's hundreds of kids, all ages, even adults. We have a, there's a lot of teams that just gave up because they all have to go so far to play. Now, There'll be a fence so it can be used on weekends and daytime and stuff like that. Uh, the big expense is going to be lighting. Maritza Mayor Ernest Chargaloff says he hopes this project will come to fruition soon. So that the kids in the community and even neighboring, island, uh, neighboring villages can come and use the facility. Uh, but at least we're, we're doing something in the positive so that the kids have somewhere to go. Rosal Romanes, PNC News. If you would like to help with or donate to the project, visit our website at pacificnewscenter.com.